might some kind of... Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. Accio. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to see him here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Need to actually try it out? Stick Good to the target, sir. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Nice work. How's it feel? That's it. I think I've got it. Let me open. Good bring them. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although... I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If 
there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me! No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this.
I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes. I thought it was odd, too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. To think it was beneath us all this time. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall 
into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going.
It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. I'm sure it'll be hard. Someone's going to regret. Incendio. No one hides from you, you No. If the bird is falling, I wouldn't say it's a good time. Not at all. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Run the other way when they see me, humans. Quickly now. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus to Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. The 
best meals I've ever eaten. your helm, but thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. I know who my friends are now, don't I? Rebellion. Orders. Directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why who? I will draw blood. Rather unwise coming back this way. Pity. Incendium. Let your best. What an unfortunate disappointment. Oh, no. Once me. I've been fighting since before you were born. It's a miss. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. An unlocking job. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry.
I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted section. Repair all. Must have done something. Best have a look around. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Look familiar. Akio. More statues. It's easy on me.
here. to explore this archway from both sides. Revelling. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Akio. get used to these floors. Things are definitely different on either side of the archway, but how? <laughs> A 
Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts. Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. be the What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fick. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Brookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They, and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. 
For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... <laughs> Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. <laughs>